Hey guys, do you want to make a quick jump but can never make it because of fuel? We got you. Do you feel like you want to store something on your cargo hold but it's always overcrowded with stuff? We definitely got you. Do you feel like you want to walk around your ship but it's always too small, overcrowded, don't like it? We definitely got you. Welcome to the Stingray 3000. Equipped with four auto helium beams, four auto neutral turret, and three proton beams will destroy anything in its path, even star points. No matter to me, we got it. Do you want to look cool in space? Stylish? Well, the Stingray 3000 does that. Look no further, friends. When you walk into your Stingray 3000, you come across your armory. Plenty of space. And plenty of shells to put all your guns you want on the wall. Come across and you find your bridge. With a cargo hold of 8055 and a small save of about 320. You come a long hallway and you'll find yourself the bottle station. Alright, yeah. And then you'll find your captain quarters because you're separate. You don't want to be next to the other ones. You know, you're special. You got it. your own space. So, far from everybody. you somebody, you know? Then you come across your battle station and you'll find your living quarters for every crew member to hang out, sleep, eat, party, and everything else included. And if they get too noisy, just close the door, no biggie. Then you open, you'll find your science lab for all the benches you need. On the bottom, you'll find your working station for also all the benches you ever need in space. This dude's slacking there, I don't know what he was doing. Steve, go back to work. You go up, but wait. There is more! You come up to this small staircase, you'll find a small control station. Also included with all-in-one all the way in the back. Also have a small window for you to look outside space and see what you left behind. Steam rate 3000. All right, before we start anything, you need these. These two things, Starship Design and the Pilot. You need to have it all the way to four to be able to have everything that the ship has. If you don't have those, you got to go and grind it out for you to be able to use the ship. Anyways, let's start with this. We're going to go to the solar system. We're gonna go right here. Uh... Anything I can do? We're asking everyone to see. Okay, no problem. Alright, we're gonna start with this ship. The reason I choose this ship is because these have the scam jammer that you get and the uh, Crescent Fleet. If you haven't done the mission and you still have the vendor there, you haven't finished the mission, you can always go get it. But since I finished the mission, I can't go get it anymore. Um, you go, uh, I'm gonna show you where right now. You go right here. Uh, let me see, right here. The Crimson Fleet mission, which is in the key. There you go. You go get it there. You know, there's a vendor there. If you haven't done that mission, you're still there. you still open. You can always go get it. But if you finish the mission, anything I can help you with? I have a little sure. method, which How is a glitch. It? We could just duplicate your ship. I have done it multiple times. If you want to see or learn how to duplicate your mission, I'm going to put a link below on this video so you could go and watch my other video on how to duplicate and also make money out of it. Uh, yeah, you get these three things from there. So, uh, 
you also see I duplicated one, two, three, three times, four times, no, three times. I duplicated this ship three times because it has the jam, just in case I wanna. Anyways, let's start building this. We're gonna delete this um, bridge. And we're gonna get the bridge that we need over here. Um, right here, hold on. Yeah, there you go. You got three different bridges. You know, you could always choose the cheapest one. I didn't care, I had the money. I also have 320 cargo hold. But why not? got that we're also gonna get four of these okay you get four of those put it anywhere you want as long as you get to save your ship after you put everything on it you good to go Two of these. of these also you also could get in Damos star yard but we're gonna get it here why not oh another one the other side that's it so we pretty much got four things out of that now we're gonna go here to Damos to the back today to is the day of course first thing we're gonna get is the battle station why the battle station the hell is seek six crew members and why not having more crew members just in case you need it later on
Let's see what else we need here. We also get the one, uh, this one, if we want. I like Deimos. I don't know. It has better, like, it looks better. Uh, we already got that. We got that. I think that's it. And we got this already. Is it the same? Yeah, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Double check. I think that's it. Save it. Get out of there. All right, third place we're gonna go is right over here. You might want this. Gonna talk to this hey, vendor right what here. What can I do for you? Need some work done? Sure. How about it? I'm gonna get two of these. Also have these if you want to make a, a whole way across or do anything. You always get it here. What else do we need? Oh, right here. Definitely need this. Two of these. One here. See if I need something else. You need four of these. Get four of those. Put it anywhere you want. Doesn't matter. Okay. Get four of those. And also, you're going to need one of these. One. Put it anywhere you want. This is all the stuff you're gonna need. I'm gonna put a list below so you could go and buy everything that you actually need and we're gonna start. First thing you're gonna do is just, we're gonna build the engines, okay? So exactly what I do here. Grab one of these, you flip it, put it right on the bottom with the cargo hold, okay? Put this on top, attach this to there. I'm gonna put those turrets here. And then you're gonna put this on top. And then the engine on the back. Boom. You build two of those, you put the thruster here. And that's it. Build two of those, exactly the same. Now we're gonna build this one. one in the back and put the control station and then you put the extra uh, brace there and then the brake engine on the front 
You're gonna put this. You're gonna put that one. And then you're gonna put the auto proton beams, three of them, on top of it. And you're gonna put this, the D, and then the F right at the back. Then the tail, you're gonna put it right there, and two extra auto neutron turret. And then the shield. Okay. The extra tutorials, you're gonna put it there, and then put that there. Uh, there uh, uh, right here and that's that part is done we leave it as is move it to the side put it whatever you want and leave it there All right now we're gonna start with the uh, uh, bridge and we're gonna put the armory right at the bottom the cargo holes on the back that holds 1480 then the workshop then the other cargo hold we got in the back okay and we're gonna put the docker right at the bottom of the armory and that's that we finished with that part now we're gonna put these two uh bridges tunnel bridges right on top like that then we're gonna have two landing pads three landing pads sorry and the landing bay and two cargo holes the 320 we got i'm gonna put it there boom we're gonna do, do the same thing on the other side three landing pads the gas tank and everything else there boom and right, we're gonna put it here that's for that Okay, now we're gonna put this and that, the uh, living quarters, and two of the cargo holds, the shield cargo holds. I'm gonna grab it and put it in the left side. Boom. Supposed to look like this. This landing pad is supposed to look like this. If, if, if it's not like that, just flip it. Flip it again. Boom, and the light supposed to be right on the side, so it looks like the landing bay when it closes. Now we're gonna grab the other side, which is the captain quarters. We're gonna put uh, the, another cargo hold right on the side. Put that and that and that there. Now we're gonna grab the battle station and a cargo hold and a gas tank. We're gonna put it there, grab everything together. And put it there. Now we're gonna grab the science lab and then the belly, the Dymos belly right on the back. Like this, behind the battle station. Then we have two landing pads the belly, the landing gear, and the bumper. Put it right on the left side right there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We have the belly, landing pad, and then the grab drive, and then the landing gear, and then the radiate radiator, I think it is, I don't know what it's called right there boom and then the bumper right there on the bottom okay and now we're gonna try to grab this let me see i don't think this is attached yet no, it's not attached okay I'll put that there gonna put the other side happy there and then before before we put the engines because I don't think yeah it doesn't it doesn't attach we have to put the top uh, the top is all the way over here where everything I put in and I showed earlier 
what I built it. But just in case, this is all your stuff you're gonna put in it. So auto turret, field. All of that. We're gonna pull all of that. Boom, boom. Okay, let's grab everything. Grab everything, and we're gonna put it right on top of it right here. Like this. Uh, yep. Uh, let's go attach it. Now we're gonna grab the engines. Put one on one side. Like that. Right at the end. We're gonna put one of the radiators right on front. And then the wing tail there, there. Do the same thing on the other side. Boom. Radiator, boom. And the wing, boom. Now the final thing is the engines. Move this here. Grab the first engine, grab everything together, and we're gonna attach it right at the cargo hold, right there. Boom. That's good. Now the other one. We're gonna attach it right there. And boom, you guys done. You have your Stingray 3000 with an 81 mobility. 8,055 cargo hold and 11 crew members. You could also put more cargo hold if you want. The only thing, the mobility is going to be lower, but you know, it's up to you. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up and I see you in the next one.